What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shine and Pearl. Before we even get into, you know, today's team preview, just want to let you know, your boy made an absolute banger of a protein shake. Got some frozen blueberries, got a banana, toss that in there, a little bit of milk, a little bit of ice, a little bit of protein powder. Now we're rocking. So if you guys see my, my mouth or my face, my teeth all purple, it's because of this. It's like straight blue. Red. Pretty good. It's not pretty good. It's really good. I think I outdone myself there. I think I outdone myself, but I have a napkin on, on, on standby right here. Just in case, you know, the blueberry gets, gets in my mouth and stuff and all over my face. It's going to be a problem. So napkin on standby all day but let's get into today's video and today's team preview we're rocking out with a floatzel and pelipper rain team that's also fisha porygon z garchomp heatran and weavile you guys already know the deal if you do enjoy the content anytime make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video and if you're not subscribed to the channel click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live it really does go a long way give a huge shout out to each and every one of my subscribers but let's get started here in a little bit more in-depth kind of analysis with the team we got life orb so we're here starting us off. Got the uh, Swift Swim ability, doubles the speed in the rain, and then we're rocking with a great move set: Waterfall, Ice Fang, and Crunch. And then you know, protect as last and final, or as his fourth and final move. But Floats is one of those cool Pokemon. Definitely, there are better Swift Swim options or Rain Pokemon like Kingdra or Ludicolo. But Floats is just cool. It's just cool. So it's fun to use an off-meta Pokemon. Rock out with that. Second Pokemon on the squad is going to be our Rain Bird right here. Paloops over here. Scald, Hurricane, Roost, Protect. Rocking with the Drizzle ability, and then item is going to be on Citrus Berry to give it more HP when it falls below half. Third Pokemon on the squad is Weavile, and I absolutely love Weavile. Great at speed control, get it, great at fake out control, and great at allowing Pokemon to set up. We got Focus Ash, we're rocking uh, Pressure Ability, and then Move Sets, Fake Out, Icy Punch, Icy Punch, Ice Punch, Icy Wind, and Night Slash. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Heatran. I'm getting tired of using Scissor, so I was just like, yo, I want to rock out with a Heatran or another different Steel type. And Heatran just fit the he just fit the criteria here. We have Flash Cannon, Heat Wave, Taunt, and Protect, rocking out with the Shuka Berry as item and Flash Fire as its ability. Fifth Pokemon on the squad is going to be my boy PZ over here with the Choice Specs. If you guys seen any of my Porygon Z content, Brilliant Diamond, Shine and Pearl, you guys know this thing hits like a truck. We got Choice Specs like I just mentioned, alongside with Adaptability, and the moveset is Ice Beam, Hyper Beam, Tri Attack, and then Thunder. Really good moveset. This thing is legit broken. It is broken. You guys will see in the battles in just a second. Final Pokemon on the squad, it's Garchomp. Do I have to say anything about it? There's his moveset. Rockin' Rough Skin, and it's got Yachi Berry. Garchomp is so good. You've probably seen him in a bunch of my videos. So I don't really need to go in depth with that one. But there's a team preview. Hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Let's hop to the Coliseum and grab some wins. Before we get started in battle number one, we got to fuel up. Like I mentioned in the team preview, this shake rocks. And it's, it's it still rocks. It's still really, really good. But now that we're fueled up, let's grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. We're going up against a Feralia Gainer team with Raikou, Articuno, Blaziken, Garchomp, and Tangrowth. Okay, how should I roll into this one? How should I play it? I feel like he's definitely going to lead like the Raikou, and Raikou might just get rolled, so I might just want to go into like Weavile and like Garchomp. Weavile and Garchomp could be great. It could pose a threat on a lot of different Pokemon here, so I'm really digging it. So yeah, let's go Weavile, let's go my boy Garchomp, and I think we're just going to bring everybody but the Rain Squad, right? He's probably like predicting the rain squad coming in here, so might as well bring in everybody but the rain squad. Or I can bring in Floatzel over Heatran, but Heatran's not too shabby here. Heatran is not too shabby. Or I can bring in Pelipper. They kind of dig me some Pelipper. I mean, Ice is gonna be good up against that out uh, Garchomp, but we already have Weavile. Now you know we're rocking Heatran. I'm liking that. I'm liking the Pokemon here. He, they're expecting us to bring the rain squad. We'll save it for a rainy day. We'll save it for a rainy day. We don't need it. We do not need it right now. Let's see who's going to lead. Who we got? Raikou? Yeah, yo. Raikou coming out here. Thinking I'm going Rain Squad. Thinking I'm going Rain Squad. Like I said. Like I said. Thinking I'm going Rain Squad. We're going to rock out with Weavile and Garchomp. And at this point, you know, I'm just going to fake out the Feraligator. I'm going to set up a Swords Dance. I'm going to set up a free Swords Dance here. But I feel like he's either protecting or swapping that boy. Let's just dance up. Let's just dance up. Let's just, let's just outplay here. Let's just outplay and just be in this dude's head. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Because he's either protecting or swapping, right? Well, I'll show it to me. That's it. I, I don't even have to think about it. It's just pr He's protecting. I'm going to set up a Swords Dance, and my Garchomp is just going to roll out strong. We do have the Yachi Berry, so we're going to have to watch out for that Feraligator with an Ice Fang. But, or an Ice Punch, whatever it rocks. But we can definitely eat up a shot with that. Let's see what he does. He stays in with him. He stays in with him. What are you doing with that thing? Let's set up a Reflect. That's fine. That's fine. We'll set up a Swords Dance. I'm actually really cool with that turn. Wow, he did stay in. Wow. Dude's crazy. Dude's crazy. Dude is crazy. I think Raikou might be a little bit faster than, uh... Actually, Weavile should be fastest on the field. But at this point, I can just go for an Icy Wind, right? 
slow down everybody and then just you know just roll into this you send it like even through the reflect it's still gonna do a lot of damage because we're swords dance dude we're plus two we're plus two and raikou is definitely faster than garchomp i believe but weavile is faster than raikou and i think icy wind could just slow him down and then my garchomp can kind of go and then we can use our focus ash on our lovely little weavile. i'm digging at i'm digging at well that, that, that's just what's going through my head and now he withdraws a little biscuit he's gonna go into though you're gonna go into tangrowth okay that's a smart little call Tangro's gonna poke through here. We are gonna hit it with an Ice Wind, which is solid. And he's gonna protect for Alligator. So we keep our Focus Ash. That's fine. I can start Dragon Call on these Pokemon. Ice Wind comes out here. I can, uh, what do I do here? Dragon Call for Alligator? Dragon Call for Alligator and then just like Ice Punch Tangrowth. Or I could double down in Tangrowth because, you know, Tangrowth is Rock and Sleep Powder, which is definitely kind of scary. But we'll see how much damage we can do, do to this thing with the ZQ. Probably not too much, right? Not bad, not bad. Weavile can do some work there. But I don't mind setting the focus ash on a Weavile. He allowed us to set up this lovely little sword dance. But a solid swap. Solid swap. From him. But from here, we're just gonna ice punch. I'm gonna rip into that. And I'm just gonna dragon call over onto this thing. But dude, that reflects totally helping him out tremendously. So I think this hand growth is gonna be able to eat up the ice punch, but I have to do some damage on this Ralgator. Ralgator, uh, I think I think it's gonna be close. Ralgator might go down here. He's gonna withdraw tank growth. I'm fine with that. Who are you gonna go back into? Are you gonna go back into Raikou? It's fine. It's fine. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Because that, we're ripping an ice punch in that thing. We are ripping an ice punch in that thing. Right, send it. Give me a freeze, too. No freeze, but Dragon Claw's going to go over here. Can we KO this thing? So close. That dang reflect. Ice punch coming in here. Like I said, Yachi Berry going to clutch up for us. Yachi Berry's big. Um, I wonder what he's going to do from here. I really do. I think he's going to take rough skin damage. That's huge. And he could double protect. I don't know what he's going to do. I don't mind taking out my Wee Wild. Actually, we don't even have to touch, or we don't even have to, uh... We should go into an Icy Wind. We should go into an Icy Wind. I think Icy Wind should be able to... It's going to be kind of close with the Frogator. That's tough. But I'm just going to Dragon Call over onto Raikou, because he might protect, he might swap. That's fine. He protects Frogator. That's totally cool. That's totally cool. Keep the Raikou in there. Cool. Raikou's chance are it's going to go down here. Or it's going to be kind of close. Probably kind of close. But still, I'll take that turn all day because we're slowly wasting out the reflex. And we're getting off some big damage. And we're getting off some big damage. The Dragon Call gonna poke here. And our opponent's playing really well. I'll give it to him all day. And there it is. Big time KO from my boy Garchomp. Needed that. That was huge. That was huge. So we got that KO. We still have speed all day. We still have speed all day. And who's he gonna go out into? Tangrowth? I don't mind Tangrowth. We have a Heat Train in the back for that. We just don't know his fourth and final Pokemon. So your boy's thriving. That's solid. That is solid. That is real solid. We need our, we need our uh, standby napkin. <laughs> standby napkin is rolling. But uh, we have a little problem here. We have a little problem here. This thing might protect. And I'm thinking it is going to protect. Just get a speed boost. Right? Just get a speed boost here. That is a problem. That is a problem. Don't like it one bit. I don't like it one bit. But we still have PZ in the back. PZ's tight and nice. But a close combat. Kind of doesn't dirty. Kind of doesn't dirty. But I'm going to read the protect. He's got to protect, right? If he doesn't, he doesn't. That's fine. Withdrawals for Alligator. So we're going to take out Tangrowth here. That's totally fine. And I'm kind of confused at why he took that Pokemon out. That thing had a Regenerator. You little biscuit. Oh, and he's not going to protect his Blaziken. Not going to protect his Blaziken. Wow, we could have dumped on Blazy. We could have dumped on Blazy. We could have dumped on Blazy. But at least we're keeping his speed under control. That speed boost. And what's he have? White Herb? Is that a Herb? He's rocking away here. You little biscuit. Dragon Claw's gonna poke. How much damage are we ripping? Dude, that reflect needs to go. Close combat's gonna come in hot. He's gonna take out my guard. So his defense is low. That's that's big. That's big. That is big. That is big. He is gonna get a speed boost, which is a little tough. And at this point, what do I do? Our opponent's playing good. Our, <laughs> our opponent's playing really good. Really, really good. This is such a good first battle. Speed boost. He's plus one now. Ooh. Ooh. That's rough. We could go into Heatran. Heatran's not too shabby here. The close combat really does not do anything. I do need PZ, but he, PZ just gets dumped on. PZ just gets dumped on. It's not even fun. It's not even fun. PZ just gets absolutely ripped. PZ is just going to get ripped. So from here, we're going to drop a heat wave, and we're going to double down on Blaziken, because Blaziken has got to go. It's got to go. So we're going to go for a Night Slash here. We're waiting for this. Uh, Actually, what's going to do more damage? They're both not very effective to him. I could swap my Weavile. I, th I'm, I think I'm going to swap my Weavile. I think I'm going to need that Fake Out later. 
I really do. It's that fake out threat. So you know we're just gonna heat wave. And on top of that, we're just gonna swap a Weebot. Because I dude, I just feel like fake out is much needed here. Fake out is so needed. It is so needed. So we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna drop a Weebot here. Weebot's gonna be clutch. We're gonna go into PZ. Because I doubt he's close combating into my Weebot. Wait, no shot. Go for a rage powder. That's totally fine. It's a great turn for us. It's a great turn for us. What's he gonna go into here? He's gonna go into close combat. He's gonna go into Heatran, and Heatran drops out. Okay. Okay, I see how it is. I see how it is. We have to get rid of that Blaziken, though. We have to get rid of that Blaziken. I don't know how. I do not know how. I do not know how. Hmm. What is our play? What's our play here? Instead of faking out. Hmm. No, we have to fake out. We have to fake out. <laughs> dude, dude, this is rough. This is rough. This is rough. We have to fake him out. He might protect it, but still. I think he's just going to reach powder. Win this battle. Wow, what a first battle. Our opponent, like I've been saying, our opponent's playing phenomenal. Really, really good. And this Blaziken's coming in the back end. I started noticing, like, like probably, like, five minutes ago. That this Blaziken has a huge chance of just, like, sweeping out the battle. Plus, comments doing me real dirty. <gasps> but he doesn't reach. Does he not reach powder? Bro, he didn't reach powder. He didn't rage powder. Love it. I love it. What's he going for here? Okay. Okay. PC. PC should be able to 1v1 this Tangrowth. So I should be able... I should go after his Frowlgator. We have a chance here. Wow, dude, if he rage powder that turn, his Blaze can stay alive. I can't believe he was making all these good calls. And then on the easy call there, he doesn't make it. So Gator's going to come out here. I wonder if PZ can actually outspeed. He rage powders, he rage powders, but we, we need speed on him. So I'm just gonna try attack right into his Frogator. I wonder what he's gonna do here. Could sleep powder. If his tank grows his rocket sleep powder. Sometimes they don't. Ow, yo, he did not rage powder. He just he just let that blaze it can go. But this is what we're gonna hope. We're gonna hope that uh Porygon outspeeds. Because if Porygon outspeeds, I think we win this battle. And he doesn't. Oh frow. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh. That one hurts. What a, what a, what a read. What a read. Now, what are you going for? Sleep powder, miss it, though? Wow, if we would have went after Tangrowth, that would have been GG's. But what a great call at the end there. What a great call. And the reflex gone. Wow. Can we have quick naps? Can we have quick naps? We need quick naps. We, we need quick naps. But, yo, that's, that's pretty much over with. Wow, what a good read at the end. We could have definitely won that battle. We just would have went in the Tangrowth. But, of course, he protects the Alligator. What a smart little call there. He's so ooh. Hold up, wait a minute. He is bashing at me though. That is, that that does hurt. I'm slumped. And I'm my, my, my glass duck is slumped. We are slumped! That's rough. Battle number one's not going to us, guys. Not going unless he misses attacks. Like I'm I'll stay in here and, and see if RNG Pokey guys could be on our side, but then look at no bueno. Look at no bueno. No good for jeans. No good for jeans. He's gonna rage pad again. Looks like we need more protein shaking actually in order to win, you know? Like he's just gonna rock out into a waterfall here. I think the waterfall takes us out, right? Yeah, all day. No shot. We're surviving a swords dance waterfall from Gladiator. But GG's, our opponent played absolutely amazing. Let's hop into our let's hop into our second battle. Let's grab ourselves our first win. We're hopping into our second battle, and our opponent picked the rules of two to six Pokemon. So I feel like if you don't pick four, you're gonna pick six. So I'm gonna pick six Pokemon here. But we're going up against a really cool team. Sharpedo, one of my favorites of all time, with Agron, Dotrio, Blastoise, Salamence, and Venomoth. A cool team, but yo, that first battle was solid. We ended up losing. You guys already know that. That kind of hurts me, but <laughs> we're, we're, we're looking to grab ourselves our first win here, so hopefully we can do that. I'm going to end up leading. Uh, I think Rain Squad could just come out here. Rain Squad's looking pretty good. Get us started. I do dig the Rain Squad, and then we'll just bring the rest in the back end, right? And if he brings four Pokemon, we just have to beat him before four of our Pokemon go out, right? Yeah. I play all day. That is my play all day. Or three, because I have to make it a little bit of a challenge. Oh! What is this music? What is this music? What is this music? But yo, this is a great lead for us. This is jam. <laughs> He's gonna end up intimidating us. That kind of doesn't work on my foot, so but it's all good. It's a jam, yo. Hey, hey, hey. Yo, we we thrive in that. We gotta we gotta win this. And he does bring six, which is really cool. So I can drive a big old hurricane to get me started. 
big old hurricane. I can drop a big old ice bang. Even though we're intimidated, we have the life orb that kind of like evens it out, you know? Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, dude, I'm hype. I'm hype. He's going to end up swapping the Venomoth, which I'm cool with. I'm totally cool with that. He's going to bring out Sharpedo. Sharpedo is not going to fare too well to this hurricane either. But that's cool. And Ice Fang's going to poke you. Oh, you send it that way. That's some big old damage. That's some big old damage. Beautiful damage. That's some beautiful damage. Gonna end up going into an outrage. I'm cool with that. Because my Floatzel should be able to soak that. My Floatzel shouldn't be able to soak that. Bye bye, Floatzel. Hope you're doing fine. Hope you're doing fine. But yeah, we gotta bring out somebody speedy. Which would be our Weavile, right? Take that thing out. Weavile's gonna be tight nice for that. And then we're gonna just gonna drop a hurricane. Oh, Paloops. Doing some work. I love you, Paloops. Alright, so that's that's some that's some good old work for Paloops right there. I can just bring out Weavile. I can uh AC win this, outspeed everybody, and pretty much just uh take a get the get a get a nice double kill. So he takes out my Floatzel. It's all good. It's all good. Because my, my 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 main man pots and pans over here, Weavile. Gonna be able to do some work. I could swap, but uh, I'll hurricane just in case. Anything I actually could do. Can I bring up PZ at this point? Get PZ rolling. Yeah, yo, let's swap into PZ and just drop a nice one. PZ can get buzzing with Weavile. I can just slow down everybody and kind of roll from there. I'm digging this, dude. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Setting up her PZ out here in the field. PZ Weavile is so good. It's so good. Icy Wind's gonna poke, and it does connect. Cool. Both of them connect. Easy double kill for us. Get him on out of here. Get him on out of here. Cool shark, cool dragon. We gotta take him out. Such cool Pokemon. Look at Sharpedo. Come on, Pokemon's gorgeous. He's gorgeous. He is gorgeous. But yeah, now we're sitting in such a good position, because I got PZ, I got Weavile on the field. I can slow down anybody, make PZ a bit faster than him. He can rip through with Hyper Beam or Tri-Attack. I'm probably gonna show you some Tri-Attack. It's just his best move. Gives him that adaptability. It's Stab, it's just... It's just too good. And then you got the choice specs on top of that. I think this battle's over. I think we're just gonna absolutely steamroll now. I think we're gonna steamroll. I think this is money. Sprinkle a little money on it. Sprinkle some coins on it. Let's see who he's gonna go into. He has Venomoth. I'm not worried about that Pokemon. He has Aggron. Aggron's a little scary. I'm not gonna lie. Dodrio. Ouch. Get the thing out of here. I can Ice Punch the bricks off of that thing. And he's gonna bring out Chungus. That's Chungus. Okay. That's Chungus. Okay. So you know what? I know PZ, actually, I should be fine with speed. I feel like just rolling into like, something like this. I feel like just rolling in something like this, right? I think Blastoise slows. I don't really know Dodrio's speed, though. Dodrio could be like a, a weird threat on the field, right? But still, we're going to Ice Punch and just dump on it. <laughs> Later! Later! <laughs> yeah, yo, this battle's a wash. That's GG's, yo. PZ to plays no games. Watch this, yo. PZ plays no games with tri attacks. Absolutely none. Not one game he plays. <laughs> That's GG's. That's GG's. It's over with. There's two more Pokemon. It's going to be Venomoth. I can Ice Punch Bricks off that thing. And PC's going to... And it's Aggron. I'll probably... Sm I think he's going to cancel. I was going to say... I'll probably go after Aggron with the try... With not the try attack with an Ice Punch. And try attack the Venomoth. But yeah. It's over with. Look at that. Right? Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Rain Squad comes in here. Starts things off strong because he had a bad lead up against him. And then we just, you know, weave out Icy Wind for double kill and swap our PC in at the perfect time. It's just light work. It's just light work. He's going to swap into Venomoth. Hi, Venomoth. How you doing? He's going to throw out his final Pokemon, which is Aggron. Aggron. How you doing? Even though Aggron's so sick. I'm going to try attacking into this thing. And I'm just going to rip into an Ice Punch, probably. Or uh, Night Slash. Are they both not very effective? No, Night Slash. We can Night Slash over on that thing. Beautiful. Night Slash coming in hot. Uh, not bad damage. I think they bulk it a little bit. And this thing's going to be able to quiver dance. Even though it's going to die. Unless it's Sash. Unless it's Sash. Because, again, PZ plays zero games. Not one. Never in his life. <laughs> Never in his life. PZ's going to try to attack Lotus. Bang, bang, bang. Built, built, built. Later. Plays no games. Plays no games. It's OP. This thing might drop a rock slide. Kind of scared of. We're going to go for Steel Move. Metal Burst. Dashing it. That's not a, that's not a Steel Move. Metal Burst isn't a steel move. That's a little weird. But is this going to be... Oh, no. I was going to say. Is this going to be sweet? It's not going to be sweet. I see this guy just cancel that, right? Just absolutely steamroll him. He doesn't cancel battle. I don't think we're going to be able to kill it here. But still, we're going to be able to chip up some nice damage. I think it's bulked. He is bulked. PZ coming in hot. His special defense is probably low, so PZ might be able to kill it. Nah. Nah, son. This thing's bulking. He's going to go for a heavy slam here. We're just ripping. We're just ripping. That's going to KO. That's going to KO all day. So when Weavile drops, it is what it is. But I'm surprised you guys see in the battle. We're going to go one and one for today's video. We got up to our third and final after this one. Right after I bring out something to slap up on it, it's going to be you. 
gonna be heat train coming in hot. But yeah, I knew once I got my PZ in there with the Weavile, it was game over all day. We go for try attack, we'll drop a nice little heat wave here. And just cancel battle, dude. I can't believe this guy has a cancel battle. Does he think his aggron's gonna clutch up? I still have like three other Pokemon in the back end that can rip up on him. It's just over. It is over. All it quits. If this guy protects, I'm gonna run this battle. I'm not dealing with this game. <laughs> If he, if, he, if he protects and plays and plays that, I'm gonna I'm gonna run. I'll give him the win if he does that. Can you imagine? <laughs> that'd be so. That'd be hard. That'd, that'd be harsh. Dude, make a move. Like, what, what? What do you want me to do? Like, what? Like, this guy's like studying my Pokemon, thinking he, he has a shot at winning. It is over. It is over. I give him the slap slap. Built built. I'll get on out my lobby. He's like seriously thinking hard about this. Doing his geometry and physics about the Pokemon right here. If I use this move at this time, he's going to miss both times, blah, 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 and I win the battle. <laughs> but it plays out like this. Try attacks can come in here. I think Heatran might be able to even outspeed that thing, right? Right? Heatran, you outspeed, right? Oh, we... <laughs> Bro, yo. Kicking him while he's down, dude. Freeze him. <laughs> we just froze that dude, and that's gonna be GG's right there. So one on one for today's video. Let's hop into a third. Let's grab ourselves a winning record. Let's get rocking in the third and final battle. Looking for a winning record in today's video, and we're going up against a Cresselia team with Linoon. If I had to guess, Belly Drum Linoon, and then uh, Machamp for Trick Room. You know, that Pokemon's beast in Trick Room. Suicune, Parasect, and Arcanine. Pretty cool team. Hopefully we can grab ourselves a win here and pull through on that winning record. But how should we go into this one? How should we play? I kind of want to lead PZ. I kind of just want to get PZ rolling. PZ is super, super good. Does some work here. So, yeah, we're going to go PZ, and I might roll in with Weavile. So just a fake out, kind of get some control like that, and roll out from there. So, I'm digging that. We're going to go Weavile, PZ, let's get it done. And then, alongside with that, who should we go in with? Garchomp's type nice. Garchomp, he's solid. He's solid. Or I can go Pelipper and Fools. Just for a little bit of Rain Squad, which I'm kind of leaning towards. I do like the Rain Squad. So yeah, let's, let's, let's roll in with them. Let's go Rain Squad, PZ, and Weavile. Let's try to get rolling. That is kind of just like we what we used in the last battle. Last battle was just Rain Squad with the lead, and then what happened? Well, it all went down. We swapped our Pelipper, and then we got uh, PZ and uh, Weavile out there, and it was just GG's from there. He's gonna end up leading these two, and ah, oh, this is kind of a pain. Not gonna lie, this is kind of a pain. This is kind of a pain, but we do have Focus Ash, which is really, really good, but I'm gonna uh, target down the uh, Cresselia with a Fake Out, just so, it, just so we don't allow it. And then we're gonna go into a, do I Hyper Beam and just get rid of this Arcanine, or do I say Try Attack might have enough Mustard in there? I'm gonna say try attack might have enough mustard in there. Exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fake out you, and we're gonna go into the try attack. Let's get buzzing. Come on, jeans. Yeah, our first battle was solid. Second battle, we dominated. That was complete utter domination. Hopefully, we can have ourselves a decent, decent battle here. More importantly, grab ourselves a win. But if we don't, it's all good. I already grabbed myself a win for today's video. We're not gonna go 0 3. We're not gonna go 0 3. But I wonder what he's gonna do here. He's gonna stay in. He's not gonna protect anybody. We're gonna drop a nice little fake out, and he's just gonna go for a flight blitz, which I'm totally cool with if, if that's on the Wii Ball. It is. Cool. He takes crazy recoil damage, and I pop a Focus Ash. Mwah. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> Love that turn. Actually, didn't take as much recoil damage as I thought he would, but maybe this try attack could KO. I'm hoping it can. Try attack coming in hot. KO, just get rid of it. PZ, dude. The Weavile PZ combo. The Weavile PZ combo. It's making me all Italian talk with my hands, even though I am Italian. Talk with my hands. <laughs> but yeah, that's it's gorgeous. If you guys ever see me doing this and we're like talking with my hands, it's your boy's Italian. It's your boy. It's Italiano. But uh, who's going to roll into here? He still has that Cresselia. My champ's a little tough there. Not a fan of him. But I think uh, I think he's going to pop Trick Room. I think, he, I think that's what he's going for. So, you know, I'm just going to Night Slash. I'm going to start chipping up some damage. And hopefully he doesn't protect that green little forearm freak over there. Because <laughs> I don't mind if he pops Trick Room as long as we get off one try attack. I think that could be a solid turn for us. But if he protects and then gets off Trick Room, then we'd be in a problem. It's gonna endure. Okay. I'm fine with an endure. I'm fine with an endure. I am fine with an endure. Night Slash gonna fly through here. I'm gonna chip up some damage. And again, as long as he's not. Like, as long as we get off the shot, I think we should be fine. But Trick Room could be a problem. Trick Room could definitely be a problem. We didn't even need the endure, which is gorgeous. And he's gonna pop a Trick Room. The Trick Room's out and about. That's totally fine. Uh, I wish we had like a first turn priority. I think I'm just gonna double down into. I think I'm just gonna double down into. Yeah. I'm not really worried about the crest. I'm also worried about Look at that. The damage. God dang! <laughs> God dang, Machamp. Doing some work on me. This is tough. 
And dynamic punch is phenomenal. It is so strong. So we're going to pick up the double kill and ooh, mm, mm, mm. we got to bring out Rain Squad. And Rain Squad is going to go last because, you know, Trick Room is out and about. It's just a problem. Trick Room is so hard to play up against, I feel like, in BDSP. I feel like once I get that rolling. And, I, and if you have a Mental Herb, you can legit just, like, it's free Trick Room. Unless they have a Trick Room counter. Which, which, which most people are not rolling a Trick Room counter. You know, I, I that's, like, I roll a Taunt, but usually they're just Mental Herb. It does me dirty. But from here, you know what? I'm going to drop... I'm going to have to double down into Champion. I had to double down on the champ here. When I'm gone, when I'm out of here. When I'm gone, he's gonna dynamic punch me. That's probably gonna kill me. Oh, we eat. That's gorgeous. And, oh. Yo, I swear, if we die to this, cry a little bit. Hurricane's gonna come out here. I'm gonna take this thing out. Yo, I need, I need to not die to this other thing. We need, uh, Crest to go after Paloops. We need Crest to go after Paloops. He's gonna go for a skill swap. Oh, that works so good. It works so good. He's gonna go for a skill swap there. Fotzel's confused. Fotzel does get off a turn. That's big. That's a big turn. That's big turn, Fotzel. But Life Orb takes us out. But Life Orb takes us out. No bueno. No bueno. No bueno. <laughs> no, and it has a berry. And it has a berry. Get on out my face, dude. Crest is too good. Crest is probably, like, it's top tier. It's so bulky. Citrus Berry coming in hot. Coming in hot. Coming in hot. He's going to throw out his final Pokemon. Who's it going to be? Oh, well, Sweet. That's all. I don't, I don't like Sweet. I'm gonna have to go for a hurricane on this thing. But I feel like if it turns into a 1v1 situation, then maybe I can just roost out. Kind of get some work done. But the turn should go Crest, me, and then Sweet Cube. Crest, Paloop, Sweet Cube. There's definitely a chance, but he has such an upper hand, dude. Like I said, once you get my champion trick room, it rips. Oh, and you actually go first. Can you pick up KO? Give me ducks. Ducks up. Ducks up. Let's go. Let's go. We got some ducks. We got some ducks up in here. We ducking it up. Scald's gonna come in hot. Paloops, thank you very much for soaking that. Let's have a Citrus Berry. Can this thing KO to the Ducks? Yo, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ducks, I need you here. Come on, Ducks. No, Ducks! No, Ducks! I needed you there, Ducks! I needed you there, Ducks! Okay, so my one... My final thing here is like... Uh, what do I have to do? How many turn? I don't know how many turns left in Trick Room. I'm gonna hope that the Ducks actually KO the Cresselia. I'm gonna roost here. We need Ducks to KO. We need Ducks to KO Cresselia. We need it, because then at this point, if the Ducks KO Cresselia, we can roost, and then uh, we can thrive out here. So we roost up. Come on, Ducks. Come on, Ducks. Ducks. I don't ask for you often. I don't ask for you often. I don't mind if you substitute, but I need the Ducks to clutch up. Ducks, I don't ask for you often. <laughs> God dang, dude. God dang. Okay. Uh, He's going to end soon. We're gonna we're gonna hurricane take out Cresselia. He does have a sub set up. Oh no! And now the twist dimension. Oh my god, dude! Snapped out of confusion. One turn ducks, and the ducks didn't even hit him. Ducks do me dirty. That's why you can never rely on ducks. Never rely on ducks. Psychic's gonna come through here. And that's GG's, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skull, we get it. We get it. We get it. GG's. Thanks a lot, ducks. It's all good. We got one and two for today's video. Let me at least pick ourselves up a win. Not too bad of a set of battles. Wish I was able to grab ourselves an extra win, but hey, one and two, I'll take it all day. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.